Hello and welcome to Chem 33, the science of coffee. This is going to be an exciting semester. I hope you're ready to learn a lot. Uh, what I've got shared right now is the landing page, or what's also called the home page. Uh, that'll be the place where you log into Canvas and then uh, click on your Chem 333 link. A couple pieces of information I want to make sure you know. First off, this course is 100% online and asynchronous. That means there are no required class meetings. And you will be uh, pacing yourself through the work with me to learn a lot about coffee. Here's my name. I'm Bill Miller. My office um, is in the Davis Center at Sac City College's campus. However, this semester, the course is entirely online. And you'll be interacting with me online through office hours, through email, through the grading that I do. and uh, anything else we can figure out to make sure that you learn the material. Right here you can see my office hours with links um, and then these will always be here. You never have to make an appointment to come to office hours. I will be there unless I post something otherwise uh, every once in a while something comes up. So just stop by and uh, ask a question, check in, see if you're doing things correctly, whatever you want. Then the next part that I wanted to talk about was the announcements page. I've already got one announcement up that I posted this morning. That is that I had a link that was mis that was incorrect for the scale for the class. And what hopefully you did is you got an email about this because you want to get all the announcements as email. And I know there's a setting for that. And if you come to office hours, we can work out if that's not happening for you. But make sure you get that so you have the latest news about the course. Now I'm going to go to the course modules, and just to show you where this is, we're going to course modules, which can be accessed right here. The course modules, starting at the top, you'll have a module for each week. This is week one, course orientation. You've got a variety of information here, including the course materials. Then I'm going to open that up. And underneath the course materials, you'll see that there is no required textbook for this class. You'll see that the required materials, which are considerable, and I'm aware of that. I've done my best to keep costs down, but uh, there's a lot of stuff that we're going to be doing. And you may have some of these materials, but these are the materials that you need to have. First off, everyone needs to purchase a Chem 333 uh, uh, online lab materials kit. And it has all of these items pictured here that you will need. Then the rest of the materials can be purchased through Amazon or uh, uh, sweetmarias.com. And I have links here. This is the link that was wrong. It was wrong in the syllabus I sent too, but I've since fixed it. Um, and it's a digital coffee scale. And it re holds at least three kilograms. And it has down to 0 0.1 grams. And so I will be looking for this on your materials uh, selfie that you take at in a couple weeks, but I need that scale to read down to the 0.1 gram. And that's 0.1 grams, not 0.1 ounces. Uh, Clever Dripper, and this you can get from Sweet Maria's. You can also get it uh, all from Amazon, and I think they actually have similar prices. But if you're ordering stuff from Sweet Maria's, you can get it there. Uh, you will need to order at least, well, you don't even have to order the coffee there, but that's where. Uh, I get my coffee from, and I don't get any any money for saying that either, but it's a good place to get coffee. Here's your three-in-one clinical refractometer. This is going to be very important. This is one of the instruments or the main instrument we're going to be using this semester to measure your coffee, and we'll talk more about that uh, later in the semester. Here's a grinder. You may have a grinder, and if you have one, that's great. This is a good, inexpensive one. Picture there. Now, uh, this is another key aspect to the Nostalgia Electric Popcorn Popper. It is um, uh, from Sweet Maria's. Uh, I believe it is still 24 bucks, although it may have gone up a little bit. And what's great about this is that not only will we be roasting coffee with a popcorn popper, you have to get this one. And this one, what's special about it is that it swirls the air, and that swirling prevents the coffee beans uh, from burning. If you have the kind that just the air shoots straight up, your coffee beans will burn. They will not roast. And that's 
potentially dangerous, they can catch on fire too, and we don't want that to happen. The other great thing about this popcorn popper is that it comes with four pounds of green unroasted coffee beans. And for whatever this cost is, whether it's $24 or a little bit uh, higher, that is a great because either the popper or the green unroasted coffee beans, each of those is about $24 worth of value. So great deal. Uh, and as far as I can see, only available uh, from Sweet Maria's, and that link should take you to it. Here, uh, this is a, a good find from Sweet Maria's as well. Oh, uh, the basic Celsius thermometer with thermocouple. Uh, it's not $15.90. That's how much the old one used to be. It's $5.90. I'm going to have to fix that. That is a great deal. Here, uh, pH meter for water hydroponics. This is uh, actually a pretty good deal, too. It works pretty well. Uh, this is from Amazon, and we will be testing the pH of our coffee. And finally, I think this is the final one. Yep. Uh, so a kit of beakers, plastic beakers, plastic graduated cylinders, and plastic pipettes. We'll be using these a lot. Uh, and this is available from Amazon as well. So those are some of, are all of the materials that you'll need. You will need all of them uh, in order to do the activities throughout the semester. And you'll use uh, almost all of these quite a bit, actually. So that's good. Um, now let's go back to our course modules. And again, there's a bunch of information about grading, course communication, uh, office hours, then uh, some more general resources for Sac City College. And then you'll see in week one, there's going to be activities. That's going to be a syllabus quiz, a student learning contract, and student introductions. And I've set the student introduction, so there's actually two parts to this. You've got to do an introduction to yourself, and that's going to be by Thursday evening at the 19th, Tuesday, January 19th. And then you've also got, um, uh, and I've set the due date to that. Uh, but there's also a second part, and that is you have to reply to at least uh, two classmates by Sunday evening of that week. And after that, when I will grade it. Yeah, so there's a note right there. And some expectations. Um, click on the More Options menu to see the rubric. Um, and we've got some of them posted already. Thank you. So that's, uh, and week one is a lot about getting introduced to the class. In week two, you'll start to see the basic flow of the course. There will be a lecture assignment. That lecture assignment will oftentimes include a lecture outline. The lecture outline, you will uh, download, print out, and I've got both a PDF version right here and a PowerPoint version. So please feel free to do whichever you want. And then you're going to uh, watch these videos and take notes and turn those notes in. And you can see, this is my version of it. Uh, does it say how many points they're worth? Yes, point worth 10 points. You'll do a file upload. I need that file upload to be a PDF. That PDF uh, you can make in a variety of ways. Uh, however, up here is how to create a PDF and submit it for an assignment. and there's some text information and also a video for you to watch. And if you have any questions about any of this, please ask, email, or come to office hours. That's what they pay me for, and that's what I'm happy to answer any of your questions. Then, uh, oh, yes, yeah, so uh, then these are actually some videos that you wa watch, <laughs> watch, that you watch, and then uh, each of these has a quiz built into it, and each of those quizzes is worth points. So it looks like I've already started this quiz. While I was practicing for the class. Um, but you'll resume the quiz, you'll take the quiz, and uh, keep taking it until you get 100% on it. So that's another thing is you have some video quizzes to do, you have some video notes to take. Then uh, some weeks you also have some homework, and that homework is described right here. This homework is typically about the lecture outline notes and gives you practice uh, going over some of the information. And the other thing about the homework is that the homework is part of your midterm exam. So your midterm exam will have almost all of these questions, and we'll talk about that as it gets closer. Actually, I'll talk about it in a few minutes. 
Then you'll have the week's activity. So um, this is just an overview of the activity. So safety overview. Uh, and in fact, you don't need the supplies yet. Uh, but so you'll, you'll, this is an example of the activity that you're doing for A2. And then these are the parts that you will turn in. You'll turn in a, a signed copy of the safety rules. You'll uh, take a quiz on the safety rules. And then you'll have an assignment, create a photo app essay on the topic of the role of coffee in my life. There's a summary of what we did there. We'll start week three and you'll see that you have lecture assignments similar to the last previous week. You'll have some homework assignments and you'll have your first actual lab. And uh, included in that, so here's where you'll see A3. That's where the lab handout is. You'll have a bunch of videos to watch to guide you through the lab, hand, the lab activity. Then you'll have to turn in a picture that says, please take a selfie of you with the course materials, and I've listed them here, and some more information on how to do that. And then you'll have a report, and then a couple of questions as well. These questions can show up on your, uh, or will show up on your midterm too, midterm as well. And you can see that some of them have tutorial videos to help you complete them. Uh, the rest of them are either available, like how to do them, or either in your uh, lab write-up, you'll see how to do them, uh, or uh, for the homework, if they don't have tutorial videos, it's straight out of the lecture outline. You'll have examples to do that as well. And so let's see. Mm. Oh, yes. So these are going to be from the lecture outline of update. That's right. So then it just continues on down until we get to their spring break week. And it may not look exactly like this. This is my view. And then you have your midterm. And there's midterm exam information. It tells you that this will be an open notes, open book, open internet with a calculator, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All the details you need to know. You'll also have a practice exam that you'll do, and then you'll actually take the midterm exam in week nine. I think that's a good introduction to the course. You will find that as I've set up the course modules with all the assignments, that you can also go to the syllabus link and see all of the assignments as well, including uh, percentages. Ooh, I have to work on those percentages because they should not add up to 150%. Oh, this assignment's one is wrong, so I'll fix that. And then you should be able to see for you your grade. And if there's any, any differences between these two, please let me know. The syllabus and the course modules are meant to be exactly the same. Hopefully that's a good introduction to the class. Let me know if you have any questions, either by email or coming to office hours. And hopefully you We'll learn a lot this semester and we'll get to work together.